Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and we're trying out Atomic Dex 0.5.3 Beta 399 Community Edition. And we're going to try to trade some Raptorium on it. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is go over to the GitHub, I'll leave a link into the description, and pick up the uh, asset that you need to run on your computer via Windows or Linux or Apple or whatever. I'm just using the Windows installer here. So let's get started. So the Windows installer is pretty straightforward. It's your classic Windows installer. Uh, after that, you just run the icon on the desktop. You're going to have to put in a really good password. I think it's going to be like a 16 character using all the numbers, letters, digits, and a drop of blood. But that's good for security. Now that we're loaded up to the interface, you can see that I already have some Raptorium transferred in there. Uh, one of the things you're going to need to do when you first start out is create asset, which is up in the top right hand side there. And you're going to create that asset and you're going to find Raptorium and add it to your wallet. That way you can get an, a wallet address for it. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is go up here and search for it. I'm going to punch in RTM and it isn't there because I already have it into my wallet. Now that we have the wallet set up, we're going to go over to the trading platform here. And we're going to select Raptorium, and we're going to trade it for Litecoin. As you can see there. And I'm just going to grab one of these bids over here that is the, uh, you know, just whoever's got something trading. I don't care if I make or lose money. We're doing this for the video this time. All right, this order right here, I think we're going to pick up this order. It's uh, horribly unprofitable, but we're doing this for the video, as I said. Set our trade amount, and we're just going to hit swap. Hit confirm. Looks like everything's good. All right, let's do this. And here we go. If you click on the trade there, you can see the information and what's going on, how long it's going to take to go through. And we're just gonna we're gonna let this run until it's done. Well, it looks like our trade went through. We have uh, traded our Raptorium coins for Litecoin. Uh, it took a bit of a price hit on that one, but that's in the name of science. Once this wallet hits full, uh, like, public release, uh, I think I'm going to switch over from the core wallet to this because it does everything that I need it to do before I go to the Fiat off-ramp exchange. So I can bring my Raptorium into this wallet, I can trade it on the wallet here, set different prices for it, I can sell it off, get my Litecoin, turn around, take it to the other exchange for a Fiat off-ramp, and I'm good for the day, and I save a huge chunk of transaction fees. 